What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Into the Badlands episode. Yes. What are we at? 13? Episode 13. Episode 13. Black 13. Lotus, White Rose. Man, this was, uh, dude, uh, Beiji's? Baji's? Baji. Sorry, everyone. Baji's back. I keep Baji's saying. back. He's not dead. He's, <laughs> He's not. not dead. The fans can uh, take a, a breath after uh, the last week's episode. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and he's badass. Yeah, he, he, he definitely he definitely was a, a bit of a badass on that. Uh, Mikey, yeah. we got a lot of good stuff in this episode. We got some great stuff. We got a lot of information that we've been uh, waiting for for <laughs> the, the beginning of the series, the beginning of the show. A lot of Azra stuff, a lot of awesome flashbacks with, you know, the master and getting some cool stuff with her, yep. getting some uh, flashbacks from Sonny's life, a little Torin Pilgrim, mm -hmm. uh, Sonny's Pops, Black Lotus. Uh, <laughs> what else did we get? We got a, we got a lot of awesome information uh, in, a, in a short period of time. In just this one episode, we got so much. Yeah. Yeah. What, do you, what do you want to go first? You want to you want to stick? Let's you want to let's go to Sonny. You want to we and we got to meet yeah. Kanan. We got to meet Kanan finally. Yeah, who seems to be quite brainwashed. I think uh, we could we can say uh, no with without any hesitation. Yeah. So look, there's a lot there's a lot to unpack on this, but we're going to mm -hmm. try and keep it a little bit on the shorter side here. So obviously, we find out where Sonny comes from. We find out yeah. the whole situation. You know, uh, I, I've said this a bunch of times to you now, but I just want to say it again that I, 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 I assumed it was something along the lines that whoever had Sonny Pryor, his parents or King, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know, his yeah. parents were like the the. It seemed like his parent, like his dad, was the ruler of Azra or a portion or whatever. They want to use him mm -hmm. for bad. For you know, they want to use his gift for for bad. Like like little mini assassins. He's, he's right. So like, and that's why Kanan got rid. You know, locked his power and let him get away. Like that was something that I had thought would would have been the case. And so mm -hmm. and then we also had said that Kanan was um most likely working for the Black Lotus, um yeah. which in this case was also true. So it was so interesting. It was, I, yeah, that was on that. Yeah, there was a lot of questions about um, how Kanan was going to be introduced into this episode. I mean, some of us, it was a surprise to me that she was working for with Magnus, and, and obviously. I, I kind of thought that it was going to be she swoops in um, and saves her, her little brother. I didn't necessarily think um, that that was going to be the case, but they did a great job at that. And just the overall, uh, uh, you know, the brainwash and, and the story that Magnus tells about, you know, he... Um, like kind of like the sexual part of it, like he's he's sleeping with this with this girl and right. whatever he's he's feeding her seemed to have worked uh, for a while. Right. You know, you know the, the crazy thing that we found out was how Magnus knew Sanzo. Yeah, you know how he, he knew saved Sonny. him. He saved him. Uh, yeah, well, okay, yeah, Sonny saved Magnus, but then you know he also gives him that scar. Like I I, I really enjoy when characters like that know each other through generation or not generation but like through time like that's pretty cool he's like oh you don't remember me do you and then like you said you know he he took kanan and put her in that same rig he had that rig made for her and then yeah and then mm -hmm. there's the whole like sleaze sleaze ball thing where you yeah super sleaze she grows up and you end up like you know betting her and like, real real gross stuff so this man yeah. you've said it before there's there's lots of factions going on. So if you want to look at these factions, you've got now we know you have Sanzo's father mm -hmm. wanting to use those people, wanting to use Pilgrim, a.k.a. Torin and Sanzo to yeah. become an army. He tells his son, you're going to be a killer. But, you know, but little Sanzo dropped the thing. He's like, I don't want to be that, you know. Yeah. Then you have Pilgrim who, you know, um, actually, that you know. Uh, might as well get to one of those questions now. I believe it was Keanu that that was saying, "Do we think that Pilgrim is continuing what Sanzo's father wanted, and and because it's what he, you know, what he was basically raised to do?" And I, you know, I think I'd have to agree with that. Like that's why Pilgrim is doing what Pilgrim's doing yeah. is because he learned, he was trained and brought up to be like, "We're gonna wipe the Badlands clean for Azra," right? Yeah, well, you have, he, he didn't he didn't forget at all <laughs> from, you know, it, it's it's a big difference between what Sonny went through by locking it and not remember anything about what his past was. And Pilgrim continued to just just have Azra pounding through his brain and trying to make, you know, Azra one again and, and becoming gods. Right. And then yeah. you have the Black Lotus. 
yeah. who destroyed Azra, <laughs> pushing Pilgrim out, and then their yeah. agenda is, you know, yeah, it's you know, you've said it before. It's like every everybody has everybody thinks yeah. they're right in what they're doing, which is always the case, apparently, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but you know, everybody not. And then you have the master trying to hide everything, trying to hide, trying to keep people from using the gift wrong. You know, but that was that was really cool to see the backstory of her and getting a little bit more of the human side of her before she became the master and and had the gift and the story about you know killing her brother because um, finding she out got, was crazy. Yeah. yeah, she got pricked by a thorn when they were playing, and then the last thing she knew when she woke up is that her brother was dead and her parents were super super afraid of her. Um, yeah, so that it, it gave a lot of, like I said in the beginning, we got a lot of answers to the questions that we've had from the beginning of the show. And some we didn't even ask. <laughs> That's true. You know, we got, some, we got some answers, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. have even thought that we'd get anything about the master. Like mm -hmm. I never even considered the master's background. It's just, you know, yeah. but when you think about it, like, yeah. And then, so my question to that is who trained her? So what, she left, her parents like ostracized her or whatever, and she went to this monastery. But don't forget, Ankara is older than her. So she must have trained with Ankara mm -hmm. and other masters or other, you know, zealots or whatever. And then she became yeah. a master, I guess. And she well, became that's, a master. True. that's true. That's true. Because she just I'm... seems very young to me. You know, I well, mean, yes, it could be too much young is, is, is a younger, you know, actress. But at the same time, like they're not, it's not something, you know, it's, she's not on Kara's age, you know? Yeah. You know, but the age thing doesn't necessarily matter because it depends on wh how old you were, if the gift was locked, if it wasn't, when the gift started. The age thing doesn't necessarily well mean that. Control it, right. I, yeah. So they kind of did seem like, I mean, there was a lot of history. So regardless, that would be an interesting backstory. That could be a little side story about more of the beginning of the gift um right. and who and who uh started the monastery stuff but um i mean what do we got we got the you know the mirror chamber stuff uh, with the widow and we have a question uh from rain i believe about if we feel that after the master dies uh in this chamber and she hands uh, you know minerva comes out with with the little the lily or whatever it was right, in she her hands hand. the lily right yeah what's the significance of that do we think that uh the widow now has the gift um mk's a dick obviously for doing what he did but what do you think about um the master dying and this ro this uh lily or maybe it is a i guess it didn't look like a rose so no, it wasn't a rose it was i don't think it was title. a rose but yeah what? Nah, I don't think it was. Was it a rose? Was it a rose bud? Well, I mean, I'm looking at the thing the now. The title, I know, white like, rose, black lotus. Like, it hmm. could have been. Yeah, I don't think it necessarily is, but regardless, the flower. The point What's is, the is I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, flower. I don't know. I just saw it as a symbol. Like, yeah. I, I didn't see it as if because if if she were to get her, if she were to get her power back, I think they would have teased it. You know, they love to do those little teases at the end of at the end of uh, a, like at a commercial break or at the end of the show. You mm -hmm. know, like when she was driving off, she could have had like, you know, black eyes or something or, you know what I mean? Like, so I don't think she, at this point she's got her power back, but I think it's just like an understanding of, of something for her, you know, yeah. and, and a finality to, you know, I mean, that could be wrong, but I think that's what I, I don't know. What do you think? I think, I mean, I kind of agree with you. I think it's kind of like a, like a, like a passing the torch maybe uh, to a degree, um, I do think that I don't I, I don't think Minerva has it now, but is it suppressed? Is it awoken somewhere inside of her? And maybe at that right moment, she'll have that thought, just like some of the people with the gift don't need to slice themselves. They can just think of something and, and maybe it maybe it'll be something like that. Um, but, yeah, I just really think it's um, maybe it's like like a passing of a torture. Like you you kind of passed your test. um We'll see. We'll see. I, yeah. Someone's going to need the gift. Uh, so I don't necessarily think Sonny's going to get anything back, but we'll see what happens. Well, let's go back to Sonny because let's yeah. talk about that. First of all, let's talk about the fight scenes in that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. Ba Baji was, was fun as hell. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, he's alive. You know, we kind of we kind of were hoping that Ankara was going to, you know, bring him back to life, you know, and then, then she well, passed and then <laughs> you, you had said too to me off, off, uh, off camera about how they're not very good AMC with keeping spoilers behind. We kind of, yeah, have, yeah, we man, kind of that, saw that bothered some teaser me, stuff. So 
it wasn't like it's like Christmas morning, but you already peeked through the gift to see what's yeah, which I did a lot when I was a kid, so I understand that wholeheartedly. But yeah, yeah. I was a little upset because they left it as like, oh my god, like that was one of the like the, the most heartbreaking, heart wrenching things that they've ever done on the show. Yeah, and then a day later we see images and video of him in the next episode, and I was like, oh. It's it kind of. I mean, it's still great. But I mean, great that we got, that we knew he wasn't dead. A but at the same time, of... it was like I think it would have been nice had that been a cold open. Yeah. That let that be the cold open, right? And then and then right. you're like, oh crap, he's alive. But anyway, you know the great. thing about yeah. the thing about Baji's character and Nick Frost in general is is and what he brings to the show is his con. He's is the comic relief, so he brings the levity in an otherwise very yeah. serious. I know what and, you're gonna you say. Know, I know what you're gonna say. Downtrodden and show, right? But it's not forced. It's never it's forced. Not forced. It's, it's never. always. It's always in the moment. It's perfect. It is funny, and it's it's great, and it's played. And of course, like I don't think anyone else could do it as well as Nick Frost. It's it, it's it's an amazing performance every time, and I just I really appreciate the writing on that, and 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 the performance, and the timing yeah. of it. Yeah. Um. So a yeah, lot of, a lot of a lot of great weapon stuff. We got the uh, battle axe to the side of the head, or is that, that what they call? Not a battle. What what do they call? No, that was a mace. Bringing, that was like a, a mace, spike, like a mace, you know, mace yeah. to the side of these guys' heads. A lot of great fights, and 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 Kanan destroying the the contraption that Sonny's, uh, you know, trapped in to to let him loose. Yeah, a lot of lot of Black Lotus in this building, right? So a lot of Black, Black Lotus. Lotus so know. it's. I mean, I know we got a lot of questions, and I'm sorry if I don't have the name of the person that exact that that gave this to us because i mean there was a few um why did Kanan leave magnus alive alive yeah what do you yeah. think well i mean here's the thing let's before we answer that let's get into Kanan a little bit so so we know that she's been brainwashed we know that she's been raised to basically be the lapdog of magnus which sucks yeah. you know <laughs> and yeah. and we didn't really get to see a lot of her as of yet, but I think these coming episodes, we're going to really get to see, because I think she's going to finally be awake and she's back with her brother and she's going to really get to be who she wants to be and everything. So we really didn't get to see a whole lot. Mm -hmm. She was just basically just a, a henchman, like a, you know, a, a Lieutenant essentially. So yeah. we really didn't get to see a whole lot of her. So in my, uh, in a, a lot of her on her own, I should say um, her fighting style is dope. I love, yeah. I love that. I love that she woke up now. We we don't have time for another three episodes for her to like wake up and become, oh my God, that's right. This is my brother and my family. No, we yeah. don't have time for that. So it's like, yeah, let's, you know, so I love her fighting style. She's awesome. Why did she leave him alive? I, you know, for drama, <laughs> you know what I mean? For the drama of it. For the drama? Or you know, I think. There was a lot of, a lot of people still left in there. If, if even I'm, after listen, they escaped. If I'm, if I'm, you know, I'm being silly. That I yeah. think that's all, that is part of it, but I also think because, uh, you know, she maybe she was just done killing for him, and like he's too good. It was too good for him to die that way. Maybe, okay. maybe something like that. Okay. But then again, we don't know yet. Maybe Sonny will say, "Why'd you leave Magnus alive?" And we'll get that conversation. Or Baji will be like, "Why'd you leave him alive?" Well, you know what do you? Think? That, that, well, I mean, very true. I I think that, like I said, I think there's a lot of people left there. There's a lot of Black Lotus still left there. I mean, we still do, even though Magnus is the creep creeper he is um he like, still does want to destroy pilgrim and so does our so does our group so it could be an ally could so it could end ally, up yeah. being one of those yeah it could be one of those groups that um he's there for a reason he's alive for a reason that maybe he'll somewhat come to his senses i don't think it's going to be a turnaround thing of the kind of guy he is but we we could use as many for as many you know many more force of uh of these different armies and these different groups as, as, as we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, before we move off of that area, so I got to mention, man, Sonny's outfit. You and your outfits, baby. Dope, dude. I the know. duster <laughs> and then the other, and then the, the shirt and like, or the, yeah. it's like a, it's, it's like a shirt jacket thing, but yeah. then he's also got the jacket on top. It looked like it was a duck. Dude, come on, Giovanni, man. Giovanni, man. He's, man. he's killing us. He's Every, killing. Everyone, even Kane and simple. Hers was like simple. And yeah, the yeah. black, obviously the black Lotus, outfits yeah. are dope as hell and dude that chain the chain rig dude oh, that, was, that was a pretty sick thing although yeah. sunny did make short work of that shit though that's right he busted up i loved like the, it broke and all the sand came out like oh it was, it was mm. so cool just watching all that all those again the, the the prop work the use of the environment you know is so is so fun um all right so we talked we talked minerva we talked sunny let's go over to pilgrim and yeah 
Uh, yeah. What did you think about when he ran the, the master through? Like, I did not see that coming, man. I mean, so, well, you're talking right, so, MK or you're talking at first well, how the, well, the yeah. master comes from, breaks her chains or breaks her that ropes. That was cool, too. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously force thrusts, you know, whatever you'd want to call it, mm-hmm. uh, MK. And she thinks that he's uh, been taken out for her. Uh, a little longer well, than she let her that guard she... down, and that's my that's my yeah. thing. You it know? was it was very fast though. It was very fast, and in the meantime, um, she's about to take take Pilgrim down, and MK was there to uh, to do the the worst thing that as fans to to have done. Yeah, um, yeah no, it's it's rough. Uh, you know, it was rough because even though that happened, we did there was a lighter part of this for a second because we did see her backstory she was still alive enough for Minerva and all that kind of stuff but it's it's disappointing um it's disappointing and it shows how Pilgrim is weak right now it shows a um vulnerable side of Pilgrim um because he's 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 falling into MK's arms and what does he say he tells MK you're my you're my son right I think he calls he him says, you're son now, now. My, you're my most trusted you know warrior yeah. and you're you know now you're my son so yeah so, so. It, yeah it, it's it's disappointing um, as far as the, the dramatic aspect of the writing and the scene, it's awesome um, because uh, um, Pilgrim, the actor, I'm sorry, was it uh, Cissé, right? Cissé, yeah. He uh, does a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, and we see his vulnerability. So it's it's definitely something that we haven't seen, and MK is seeing this. Well, people are hating on MK, but people are saying yeah. MK is, is uh, he's becoming more powerful yeah, right? he's more of a badass, but there are also people who are also hating on him too, and I, you know, I still think he's gonna turn. I still think he's gonna turn. I still think right. he's gonna he's gonna right. go back to the to the light side. The problem right. is, it's not it's not necessarily a light side and a dark side. Everyone's an asshole. Everyone that has the gift is an asshole. That's the problem. You know, um, they they leave the they leave the the monastery. They go back to the temple, mm-hmm. and Pilgrim has has all his his new warriors there. And, you know, it was sick. I thought they were going to cut their cheek and then they end up cutting their lip. Yeah. Right. And and it's go. So. So throughout this whole thing. So let's just talk about it. The sound of silence. So the whole back yeah. end of the of the episode is is uh, the sound of silence. It, it's playing. Um, I like I like this version. It was more of like a rock version. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed that. And, um, you know, burning origami dicks. We saw a few burning origami dicks in there. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah, uh, I, think... I thought that was pretty fun. <laughs> and um, I don't know, man. The whole thing, and that's if anything, we if we were going to see Minerva get her power back, I think that's might have been, might have been where it was. You know, yeah. you have so you know Pilgrim is obviously he's turning them or not turning them. He's he's now got them on his side. Mm-hmm. Sunny and Baji and Kanan are out. And fun fact, that was actually shot in a real blizzard. Actually, oh in, really? In, in okay. A, in a national park out in Ireland. Yeah. When they, you know, nice. so they yeah. in Ireland, yeah. but yeah, they, um, if you watch one, a uh, little like feature thing that they have on like AMC okay. and stuff. Yeah. That okay, was shot cool. in an actual blizzard. Cool. Yeah. So very cool stuff. But Sonny, you know, you have Sonny throwing the pendant. So basically I think Sonny's done. I think he, he's done with Azra. He doesn't give a crap about Azra. He doesn't care about his lineage. He's got his sister and they have to stop Pilgrim. So I think he's going to try and stop Pilgrim on his, not on his own, but, you know, it, it's it, it, the first of all that like that montage was awesome. The music is the very dramatic. Is it was very dramatic. They're, they're going back and forth to the different groups of characters. An interesting um, choice of song, but I, I think it worked really well. Oh, I no, I think, I think it worked great. This is this is you remember the wit, the master says, go now. Pilgrim's at his weakest right. now. Right. So this is shit is going down next episode. That's that's everybody, you know, Sonny, they're they're gonna meet up with the widow. You know, we have guys. Don't forget about him and getting old Chow's army. It's gonna be a big, you know. We're gonna hopefully see more of Moon and oh. and, and it's a big. Oh, we, of course we are. Yeah, culmination of everybody and 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 the other side, the bad side. It's Pilgrim and he's getting his his quote unquote his harbingers, his disciples ready to fight. So it was it was an awesome way to do that. It was a very moving uh, scene. You know, let's not forget, dude. We we almost forgot. You know, Gaius now is now Baron. Yes, he is. You know, an and awesome, here's the thing: awesome scene too there with you know the 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 white bone mansion and seeing all the right. the soldiers there. I think so. You know, I saw some stuff on the community, you know, on Facebook where 
you know, people were like, oh, you know, is, is, the, is that power going to go to Geis' head? I do not think it will. I think oh, Geis, no. is, Geis doesn't really want it. No. He just knows he, he just has to take that position right now so he can grab all those Clippers and mm. fight for, the you know, you know against Pilgrim. So I, yeah. you know, so the next episode we see him. You know, Tilda's essentially his regent now. He's wearing all. He's wearing the white armor, um, outfit, and you know. So yeah. So definitely, obviously, there's a big battle coming up, but there's still three episodes left, which is, you know. So you know, you gotta fig- figure out where that's gonna run. Having sure. the the battle, the battle at the you know uh, the third to last episode, and then what's gonna happen the next one. You know. So let me ask you this though. Um, what do you think? Do you think Sonny will get his power back? I, mean, I don't think he wants it. I, I think, think he. We're in I don't think he, he wants it either. It, but I, mean, I don't do think he think, wants it either. Do you think? He's no, gonna honestly, no. I think it might even be one of those situations where he has the option mm-hmm. and he denies it, or I mean, I look at what he's done to get rid of Henry's. You know, um, uh, we've seen and we mentioned this, but we've we've seen the the just basically the negative side of the gift this whole episode from the master and her season. situation yeah. uh yeah but just particularly this episode in the in in um the the black lotus want to eradicate it because they know how bad it is we see the power hungry pilgrim and his harbingers and, and what they're trying to do with the with this gift right. and we see the master hiding out in in this monastery built into the side of a mountain because preventing you know, people from using preventing the people wrong, from right. yes exactly um it's it's uh, a big negative aspect of the gift and i think sunny is through with it also his dad yeah and he's learning so, about learning about yeah. his past and 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 the flashback stuff. So yeah, no, I don't think I don't think he will want it back. Will he need it in order to uh, to defeat Pilgrim? Is he going to be the death punch? You know, um, that's a cool question. That could even be a potential video. Who's going to be the one that defeats him? Will there be one particular person that strikes that final death blow to him? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just Sonny, the way he is, he never wanted to be a killer in the first place. He ended up being one for Quinn. Um, he ended so up being I, the same thing that yeah, Kanan was preventing she him says from that. becoming. Yeah, she it, says she that. Said that. So it's interesting stuff. I can't wait to see how this works out. I can probably see the Minerva getting it and using it. Um, and don't forget, we have Nyx who has the power. and there, There's people that have it. So we'll see what happens. I, I'll tell you this much. I don't yeah. want Badlands to end without Sunny at least getting the power once. I want to see it. I want to see Sunny with the power. Will I be a little disappointed if, if he doesn't get the power? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will be because let I want to see <laughs> I he's I want to see him with the power. He's supposed to be yeah. super powerful. I'm yeah. assuming he's more powerful than Pilgrim. That's oh, what, he he is. That's what Kanan I mean, we, is. That's what everyone's saying. Yeah, you know, we Kara heard and the Master and and Kanan like they're all saying like your yeah. power is is sick even even Magnus knows it. Yeah. So yeah, so I kind of want to see that. But you know, wrap wrapping up this video. Going, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we have one more one more little theory that um, uh, yeah, uh, really cool one. Chris from Facebook had kind of put out there, so we kind of wanted to talk about it real quick. Um, speaking of Magnus, uh, the theory is: what if MK is Magnus and Kanan's son? Now, you know, we know Journey to the West is is r- roughly what this whole series is sort of based on, and people yeah. say, you know, well, MK is supposed to stand for the Monkey King, and you know, a character from Journey to the West, and whatever, but. What if MK really is, you know, supposed to stand for the abbreviations of his parents? Now, to 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 go a little further into this, Kanan is older than Sonny. Magnus mm-hmm. steals Kanan as a as a preteen or 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 as a teen, whatever, right? Yeah. Ends up doing what he does with her, right? She grows up to be his, you know, lieutenant and concubine and whatever the hell else. She could have absolutely had. Because he's only 15. He's only 15, yeah. 16 in this, right? Um, MK. So he, the timeline checks out, dude. And then now you say, well, what about his mom? You know? Well, that could, Kanan could have done a the forster, same thing. She a did. forstering thing. She right. could have snuck him out. Exactly. Just like she did. Um, yeah, obviously, Magnus wants to get rid of people with the gifts. So for some reason, maybe there was a situation, a, a scene where MK does something similar to the master. And Kanan realizes, oh shit, this kid has the gift, and let me get him out of here before Magnus finds out. Um, 
Or even how would Magnus feel if she did become pregnant, regardless of if MK had the gift or not? You know, would he want to, you know? Right. So it's one of those things. She she may have snuck him out. That could be the mother that he's seen. She may have said she killed him. Yeah. Right? And now you brought, Very you true. know, we talked Very about true. this off camera and you had said, yeah. well, yeah, but that was, she was like an alkalite of Azra, right? He had the mm. pendant. She yeah. could have given, she, Canaan had the pendant, right? She mm -hmm. could have given her son his pendant and given it to the, ma, the, the, the surrogate. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, it's just, you know, but was she for Azra? You know, we don't know. Maybe she was because she was stolen away. So maybe she still did like Azra or, or whatever. It could just mean, you know? it just could mean that the boy is special, that he has a gift. We didn't see. In the beginning of the oh, series, you know, you're, you know, we you're had absolutely no right. clue Those pendants did that mean that. people had the gift. Remember yeah. the ceremony. You're absolutely right. The, they got yeah. the pendants. Oh, yeah. Okay. They had the pendant ceremony. So maybe that, that was letting people know that, that he had. Okay, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so mean. I, yeah, I, I, say, I say it's very possible. Yeah, I think it's very possible. It's actually a really cool theory, yeah. and I'm glad that we got that that question from Chris. Yeah. Um, I mean, another another bang bang episode, super super loaded with information. I'm really excited to for these last three. I mean, is there anything else that we that we may have missed? I mean, there was one thing that um, you know, going back really really quick, just because it was a cool quote when when the master was talking with the widow, she says, um, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the with the handing of the the flower um the master says create a world where there are no masters mm -hmm. so i think that tells you a lot um i mean when they say a master is she talking about herself as that adjective of herself a master and a master being someone that has this gift yeah. um let's let's get rid of it you know completely no one should should have this um it's too dangerous mm. You know, um, that's what I'm, you know, what do you think about, about, um, about that particular quote and what, what the master says to her? I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I, I think, I think it might just mean don't let one person be the bearer of, of this power. Don't let one person make the decision, you know, okay. she, I think she could have even as easily as said, let everybody become a master. You know, or something along those lines where it's like, don't let one person be that, but also just let it, you know, just live your life, man. You know, live your life in peace. <laughs> that would be a big, a different quote if she said that. Just live your life, just man. Live your life, bro. She goes, bro, live your life. I'm out. Peace. And she just falls peace, down. Out, She's you know? drinking monster or something. Right, Yo, yeah. Live your She's, life, dude. She hops on a boogie board into. into party the, on, dude. Yeah, party on, dudes. And then the. Yeah. The, the phone booth that comes and gets something. her, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was his name? What was... Uh, Rufus? Rufus. Rufus! Yeah. She says Rufus really she, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know, um, we're a bit older than maybe some of the viewers of the show. It's a reference <laughs> Go to... Go watch Bill Ted's and Ted, right? Excellent adventure. It's Amazing. one of the greatest Making classic. a third one, man. They're making yeah. a third one, I'm bro. Stoked. Cannot stoked. wait for that. It's going to be to amazing. Totally excellent. So join uh, us on our next podcast where we talk about uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So. Yeah, that might be something that we can do. We have a lot of knowledge of these one. classic 80s movies. Uh, anyway... Uh, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> off topic i think we're good chris are we good yeah, we good. said everything yeah, we had to say yeah, right in the comment section below let us know what you guys thought of episode 13 black lotus white rose it was an awesome episode um your theories what are your um ideas after some of the theories that we got from chris and some of the questions that we've gotten from keanu and reina thank you guys for submitting those obviously um, check us out on Third Person on all the social medias. You can go into the Google search engine, type in thirdpersonpod.com. You can get all the cool, cool, cool video content, not just only from Badlands, but uh, some of our prior stuff from Westworld fans. Check us out. We have some cool reviews with that. We have Fear, The Walking Dead, Walking Dead. We just started Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 1, which was Correct. fantastic. Correct. Um, check us out. We're all over the place. Got lots of stuff for you. Yes. Um, including, including... You know, the videos, you know, there and, and over there. Mine's, mine's down, right? Yours yeah. is down, mine's up, and yeah, so yeah. Check so them out. Go check out the trivia. Go check out the other interviews that we've, all the interviews that we've done with the cast and, and the crew on this show, yeah. Friends of the Badlands. And every, and thank you, everyone, from the Facebook group for uh, loving us and hanging out with us and supporting yes, us. Thank you so much. And uh, sending in questions. So we'll see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands. See ya. <laughs>